talk about the five indicators that expose a judgmental spirit. We may not even feel like we're judgmental. I think we're more judgmental than what we think we are. And all of that is arrogancy and pride. And, and you, we got to be careful that we don't fall in that pharisaical, judgmental spirit. Okay, so and, and so we got to make sure because it becomes very vindictive is what we want to say to that, is that, that we, our heart begins to be really a, an attacking mode. And I don't know how we feel like we're so justifying that. And, and I've had this before. I mean, and, and I'm sure maybe I slip into it now. I don't know. I don't want to be that judgmental spirit. And so let me give you some indicators. Number one, if his failure, someone else's improves the opinion I have of myself, I'm judging him. In other words, is, is in a way, we rejoice in another man's iniquity because it makes us look better. And that's just being a judgmental spirit. Secondly, if his failure decreases my concern for the faults I know I have, I'm judging him. In other words, okay, I know I see your fault. I know my fault. But your failure decreases my concern for mine. In other words, I begin to think yours is not as bad as mine. And that really, was all that does is it ma makes us feel we're licensed to uh, continue in ours. Well, anyway, thirdly, is if his failure gives me a desire to see that he's punished, I'm judging him. we got to remember this. The Bible says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Romans 12, I believe, uh, verse 15, I think it is. But he talks about vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. And the Bible tells us that, don't, that we're not to be vengeful with one another. Listen, I want to tell you something. God has the ability to do what needs to be done in judging and punishment, okay? And I know the Bible talks about we should judge some things, okay? But that's not what we're talking about here today. And number four, if I am eager to tell other about his failure, then I'm judging. In other words, I tell others about his failure, I'm judging. In other words, am I when I find someone messed up, am I... Am I like, okay, now who can I tell? Or, hey, listen, I'm going to tell you, brother, this guy over here did this. And and uh, well, I'm just telling you out of concern for him. A concern for him, then why didn't you go to him? Go to him if we're concerned for him. But what we do, we begin to share people's failures. God help us. God help us. That is so pharisaical. Number five, if his failure causes me to feel that I cannot forgive him, I'm judging him. Listen. There's nothing, absolutely nothing, that you and I are not supposed to forgive somebody of. I, I give you this illustration. Jesus is on the cross, okay? He's there. They stripped him naked. They, they, they verbally abused him, physically abused him, emotionally abused him, mentally abused him, sexually abused him in the sense that he is naked on the cross. <clears throat> Think about that. And while they're doing this to him, now it wasn't like after they abused him and he had to work through it and he had to say, well, i got to work on forgiving them. You know what he did? While they're doing it to him, he says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. You know, that's powerful. That is That sets the highest goal of forgiveness is that when immediately when someone hurts us, we forgive them immediately. That's what the Bible says. And we're to love, forgive as, as he has forgiven us. And so when you can't forgive, you're judging, okay? And so I, I want you to take these and examine your life. And if, if you found yourself in these statements, pray. Just pray this prayer. The Spirit goes like this, Lord, I realize I'm judging this person. And wherein I judge him, I know by your word that I do the same thing. Give me wisdom to see the root cause and the grace to begin to conquer it and the discernment to know how you will test me in the same areas I judge somebody else. And we'll take up here next week, okay? Thank you for watching Pastor Marvin Smith's videos on uh, five indicators that expose a judgmental spirit. Throughout these couple weeks, we'll be looking at and even reflecting on our own lives to see if we have that judgmental spirit. It's not us pointing fingers at other people, but it's letting go of that stone and seeing the true things inside of us and being able to to see those things, to be able to get out of those things. So come and join us on these next couple weeks. Thank you.